Well, greetings, friends and followers. This is Nurses Talking, and I am Dale Barzi. And as always, if you like what you see and hear, subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Here on Nurses Talking, we speak to nurses anywhere in the world and at any stage in their nursing journey. Today, I am very, very pleased to welcome or re-welcome <laughs> Nurse Dee Porsche. Porsche is a registered nurse. She's a content creator. She's an entrepreneur. And this is our second go round of having a conversation. So welcome, Portia. Thank you. Thank you for having me again. Look, that is the first time that anyone has said I'm a content creator. I still don't consider myself a content creator, but I'm creating content every day. Like <laughs> Yes, yes, you're creating content every day. And yes. I see, I see your YouTube yes. channel is doing you're doing all kinds of things on this YouTube channel. Yes. So to that, <laughs> remind us why you became a nurse. So I feel like nursing chose me. Um, as I mentioned before, when I was younger, I always had that caring spirit, which I feel every nurse had. <laughs> and then um, I went on about life. I went to aviation school, did a bunch of things. And um, it was a moment that I started working as a dialysis nurse that I feel like it just, like it, it just went full speed. Everybody was just like the patient, between the patients and the nurses I work with, they were like, you should become a nurse. Like you would make an amazing <laughs> nurse. And I was just like, I just can't shake this. So let me look into it. And then from there, I just, I started the LPN program, finished that. And I went into the LPN to RN bridge program. And then I got my bachelor's degree and my master's degree, um, both of them in three months. And I was able to finish nursing school debt free. And so that's what's been kind of um, really in this space, in this moment right now, in this season, that's what a lot of new nurses coming into the field have been seeking me for. They want that mentor support. I've created um, more books. I think the last time I came on, I was talking about the um, MSN yeah. for $2,000 book. Yes. But I created uh, about two more eBooks. Um, I've created some courses and just um, really wanting to support nurses in that space. Um, and it's been a, a few changes. I think the last time I came on and spoke with you, I was a CPR instructor. Yes. And I had been doing it for 10 years. And it still feel kind of weird that I'm not doing it anymore. But <laughs> I just decided uh, to leave. Let's say it was last year. I'll say mid last year, I decided to just uh, leave altogether mm -hmm. and not teach mm -hmm. anymore and really what brought about that decision was the changes I was aligned with American Heart Association and I just see them moving towards a place of where I think they did not say this anywhere on their website or they're not you know putting mm -hmm. this information out there but I just see it moving towards them eventually eliminating instructors altogether because they have like these kits now that have like yes. the, you have the, the dummy you have the AD yeah. you have the books everything right and you yeah. can literally train yourself and uh, then yes, if you look you in the hospital settings they have devices to give CPR so I'm like this is eventually going to reach that place I don't need to wait for them to tell me that I mm -hmm. just, you know, and then I had started when I was a dialysis tech. Now I'm a nurse and it gives me more opportunities for entrepreneurship. And so yeah. I just kind of wanted to adventure what that was like in the nursing space. So, yeah. And so yeah. now you're you're creating content. Mm -hmm. I know what you said. You, you didn't think of yourself as a content creator. I've never actually content. thought of myself as a content creator. It's so weird. I've, I've yes. never had, but I am definitely creating content like every day I'm in the awkward space of like recording myself walking into a store or whatever um and I think it's because that is the way of the world right now like it's pretty much how you get exposure it's pretty mm -hmm. much how um you connect with people right um mm -hmm. the attention span of adults have decreased so much right to where you have to get something that's going to grasp your, their attention in order to get your message across so yeah. um i find that first doing the interview with um jason from nurses to riches really grew my youtube channel um because he he talks a lot about like the um money in nursing in which nobody else is really kind of doing so mm -hmm. he really talks about how much he's making and how how much um how to kind of navigate that space where um nurses could really make how much they're worth um 
And so when I came across this channel, I said, well, I was able to finish four nursing programs for free. And a lot of people don't know this information. So maybe I should share it and be able to help, you know, some people. Mm -hmm. And then at mm -hmm. the time I had an ebook and I said, maybe I can promote it on this channel. And so I did that. And we both had no idea it would blow up. That interview got like over 100,000 views. And so, yeah, even to this day, my last um, client that I mentored, she told me that she came from that interview that I did. Yes. And so um, that really got me from people will watch his interview and then come and subscribe to my YouTube channel, yeah. follow yeah. me on other social media plugs. So I think that um, connecting with other people in the space is also important for growing as well. Yeah. Um, just supporting each other, um, partnering shit, partnerships and all the things. Um, I've partnered with a school out of Dallas now um, to be a motivational speaker since going on, you know, that interview. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm supposed to be like a biannual uh, motivational speaker for her. And which is really good because she also offers like programs and things for women in the underserved communities in the Dallas mm -hmm. area. So mm -hmm. it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. so I'm excited about that. That's something else that I've been doing, which is super funny because I am a introvert. Really? <laughs> yes, I really am. <laughs> and I'm like, how in the world did I get into this space? <laughs> but yeah, and it's so funny because I've I've been offered to um, do a, I think it's a nurse ambassador for a nonprofit organization in which he wants me to like, go and talk to all these people. And I'm like, oh my God, why, how are these opportunities coming? And I'm like, no, I just want to stay in my little in my little space. But um, the more I share, the more I see that my story is needed in this space. Um, the last time you and I talked, we talked about uh, nurses eating their young and how there's yeah. a new movement about nurses feeding their young. Yes. And I kept, after that interview, I kept asking myself, how can I contribute to that world and God brought it to me. He said, tell your story. Because my story, I, I, at first I thought it was just me sharing on how to help nurses save money. But no, it's bigger than that. It is setting, it is setting them up to enter into the nursing field with a good, like a good starting point of where if you can enter in the nursing field with no nursing school debt, right? You could really yeah. advocate in your in your space the way you need to. If you mm -hmm. can be financially independent, that mm -hmm. can help nurses to be able to advocate in spaces that they need to for themselves yes. and yeah. for our patients. So yeah. it blew my mind when I thought of it. Like I was like, oh my God, this is bigger than I thought it was. So me sharing, just like for an example, one of my um, eBooks is Zero to RN and just talks about how I was able to use grants and scholarships and WIOA and all of the things and resources that I learned along the way of completing uh -huh. nursing school for free. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so today I've sold 144 copies of that book. The average nurse is graduating nursing school with about $40,000 of debt. That's and so uh -huh. if you multiply that by how many people have bought the book and just kind of guesstimate, that is $5.6 million being saved from nursing school. So can you imagine being in that space like where you're entering, you don't have any debt, you're making good financial decisions, you, you're investing your 401k, your Roth, you're, you're yeah. making investment decisions. And so um, it, you cut it there because there's always a time in nursing where you have to advocate, right? Yeah. You have to make the decision, are you going to advocate or are you not? And a lot of times when you ask nurses why they didn't advocate in that space, it's, I have bills to pay. I can't yeah. afford to advocate. That is a constant thing that we hear, right? And so can you imagine if you are in a situation where you, it's time for you to advocate and you got 100K sitting in the bank account? Then you're like, if you decide to retaliate and fire me, that's okay. But that's I'm going to stand up for what's right right now. Because yeah. there has to be people who are in these spaces advocating in order for us to see change. And so yeah. I found how I'm I'm um a part of this nurses feed their young and it's yeah. just been driving me because I'm yes. like it's so much bigger than me. It's I'm hoping it's to help change the trajectory of nursing. And so okay. it's really been driving me to tell my story even though I'm an introvert and even though I do, I don't want that space um I feel that it is really going 
to bring about change if I continue to share my story. It's been so many messages of people who's reached out to me and told me, oh my God, God has really used you in this space. Um, one lady had told me, one lady that I helped do mentorship, she was able to get her complete tuition paid for, plus a monthly stipend, all of her books and everything paid for in that space. So I was super, super happy about that. That is amazing. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is, 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 is so many different areas that needs to to really um, come together to bring about change. I, it's not just one area. I feel like it's so many different, and this is mine. So <laughs> that's yours. And then I was going to ask you, what is your big vision for this thing you're doing? But you just articulated it, Miss Introvert. <laughs> yes, that is my that's my fear. It really is a big fear of mine, um, especially <laughs> this new partnership. Like, um, it's it's a nonprofit, and then it has like all of these celebrities and there's a politician a part of it and I'm just like oh my god I'm super nervous to like be in that <laughs> space because I, I guess I didn't feel like I had anything to contribute and so that's why it's important for me to see my part in all of this yes so now yes. I do so yeah yes. I think that's gonna really help me to yes. keep it helps my to remember that none of these people they know what they know but mm -hmm. they don't know what you know and you, yes. your, your, what you have is, is valuable to contribute. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I've seen so, change. So, <laughs> stepping into the entrepreneurial space, how was that for you? Because now it's like you, you know, you're, um, you're, you're, you're able to, to, you know, disseminate all of that information. But going from standing still to moving, what was that like? Um, I guess I have been teaching for 10 years, so it wasn't like <laughs> entirely new for me. But this particular space where because, you know, with AJ, you have your curriculum and what you're teaching. Now mm -hmm. I'm a CE provider. And so I'm creating my own um, space. And so that is still very new. It's scary, even if I if I say um, yep. because I have actually been a CE provider since October of last year and I got the status in 10 days and I really haven't done anything with that space. And I don't know if it's more so fear of um, it not working out or um, <clears throat> just it being new and so many systems to learn and all of the things I've just, I found myself in a space of kind of delaying what I need to do because I want to create a, a workshop. Um, I want to do more courses and really get into that space. And it's so funny because, um, you know, I work as a remote nurse from home. I was working four days a week and now they changed it to where we're working. Uh, I'm sorry, five days a week. Now they change it to where we're working four. So like I have a whole day to now create my yeah. business and I'm like, okay, God, I see you working over here. <laughs> so now I have to like, I have to do. And so now I'm in the, I'm in the space right now where it's, it's, um, it's, I'm, I'm trying to overcome that fear and just get started and just do it. But it's yeah. also learning um technology and how to use everything and just navigate that space because yeah. it, it really has a lot to do with that as well so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and and that, that, that's kind of why i just why i asked it because you know you you get the idea you have the vision you want and then for some reason stepping out into it you start thinking, oh, well, this and that. And you start giving yourself all kinds of reasons yes. why you have to delay that first step. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so true. It's so yeah. true. Because, like, at this point, like, just do it. Just do yeah. it. Like, I'm not yeah. going to charge a whole lot for the class because I just don't feel that I should. It's information that I just want to share with nurses who mm -hmm. are drained, who's um tired, and they're at the point where they want to try a non-bedside role. Mm -hmm. just want to encourage them and show them the route to that I took to get to that. Um, so yeah, it's it's more so of trying to integrate technology and then overcoming that fear. So, <laughs> which hopefully eventually I will. <laughs> you working from home um, for someone else in what in what area? What are you doing? Uh, utilization review. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, utilization review. Pretty. Uh -huh. That's a pretty cool space, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like pretty it. Cool space. <laughs> I like it, but you know, I I missed hospice a lot. 
Mm. I really miss the hospice space. So what I've done now is I, I'm also a volunteer in the hospice world um, because I just feel like I cannot leave that. It is, it is, that's my area of nursing really. But right now, utilization review is working for me because it's giving me work-life balance with my young kids. And so I'm in that space, but I cannot leave hospice alone. So <laughs> I volunteer in, in, in that space and I'm loving that as well. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I mean, you're you're in. Isn't that what nurses are busy? busy. Such all, a all the time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a second name, Portia. We just talked about you being busy, and you know, you have yeah, actually you just mentioned a good that this work, what you're doing, gives you an opportunity for a good life work balance. But what do you do to take care of you? Mm. Lately, what I've been doing to take care of me is reading. I've been reading lately. Um, and I'll just maybe go out and get tea. I like to just drink tea in quiet spaces. Um, and just taking a moment to just breathe and do nothing. You said breathe and do nothing. And it, it occurred to me as you said that, that that's a big thing. It's hard mm -hmm. to do nothing. It's so hard. It's hard to do nothing. It is. It is. Especially when yeah. you know you have this list every day of like a hundred things to do. So it's literally fighting against that urge to do everything. <laughs> like you're like, no, I'm going to do nothing. And so sometimes <laughs> I'll even time time like how long I'm gonna sit and do nothing for like no you're not gonna look you know you're not gonna go on social media you're not gonna do any of the things you're just gonna sit in this space and literally do nothing <laughs> what are you yes. doing for self-care well typically I outside you know outside is my big thing so pretty much almost every morning I am out walking and well, I'm that. fortunate enough that I'm able to walk close to the wall I live fairly close to the water so I'm oh, able to walk amazing. close by the water, which for me is, you know, water is almost everything. <laughs> oh, yes. So I'm fairly near to the Long Island. So, so I, I get to to go out and, and just walk and watch the water and the sky and listen to the birds and, and all the seagulls and stuff. Other than that, I, I do like to read and I do love to garden. So I garden, I walk, I read, I listen to music. I would love to get into garden, gardening. I, I got a plant and it and it died. So I was like, okay, maybe that's not for me. But I think I'm gonna there's classes I think that they offer at the farmers market here. And mm -hmm. so I would love to. What do you grow? What do you mostly think? you know what? I grow grow I'm a vegetable gardener. Okay. I do grow flowers in the front just because it looks better in the front to have some flowers. But really, I'm a vegetable gardener rather than anything else. And so I grow things like spinach and peppers and tomatoes, mm. um, cucumbers, zucchini, okra. I just tried an okra. Um, what else have I got? Lettuce, you know, those That's kinds of lot. things that I just put around. I, yeah. I, 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 and then I love, awesome. I love growing herbs. So I have all the herbs. I have basil and oregano and, you know, I love growing herbs. Wow. So I don't use, um, I don't use store-bought herbs. Um, wow. I, all the herbs that I use are grown by in my garden. Wow. That's amazing. I have you ever it. thought about teaching that space? I would love to learn more about that. Yeah. I don't even know how, where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> I actually never did think about really think about teaching in that space because you know yeah, you should you should that's part yeah. of self care too yeah it is it is taking care is. of our bodies yeah that's health mm -hmm. health is well for sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway <laughs> so <clears throat> before you go before we go what else would you like to leave us with. What is your big dream? Where do you see Porsche Porsche? Where do you see Nurse D Porsche in five years? Mm, in five years. I hadn't thought about that. I uh -huh. see me um maybe in a in a management space at work and just teaching. Teaching um, you know, the spaces that I'm in, how to navigate to. Uh, remote mm -hmm. nursing, doing more courses to help nurses in the field that's coming into the field 
and just sharing my story more, um, inspiring others, trying to bring about change in any way that I can, um, and still in the hospice space. <laughs> so I guess I, I, I'm so happy where I am right now. I don't, I, I've never thought about where the next five years will take me, so... <laughs> Well, at, at that time, God's willing, we can hook up again with him. And I did it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I feel really blessed to be in the space that I am right now because I get to spend the quality time with my kids and mm -hmm. husband and, you know, learning. I feel like I'm learning them all over again in this space yeah. because I'm, I have time. I, yeah, I'm making time. it to their, to their um, basketball practices and their um yeah. award ceremonies and all of the things so it's just it's amazing to be in both yeah. spaces and being able to impact from both spaces so yeah. i feel blessed i feel very blessed and you made that space for you so yeah yes. <laughs> you made that so space i want every nurse to be in that place where they feel blessed and they feel that yeah. they are contributing to where they feel that they need to be. So yeah. I want to help others to feel how I do right now. <laughs> and I thank you so much for that. I thank you so much for that. I, as you were talking about, um, you mentioned that you, you you know, you had sold, I think you said 144 books. Mm -hmm. And I, it brought me back because I remember when I first, um, when I first became aware of you, uh, you had mentioned, I think you said something about, um, becoming an RN in, in, in a year or becoming an RN debt free. But I think whatever, whatever your first ebook was about. Mm -hmm. um, and the MSN. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And someone on, this was on, on social media, maybe it was on Facebook or someone, something made, someone made a comment that, oh, that's not possible. And here you are. <laughs> this is later. Listen, I thought it wasn't possible when I first heard about it too. I'm like, People are getting their master's degree in six months. Like, how is this possible? And I thought it would take me six months, but it took me three. And it absolutely is possible because I was already a licensed nurse and I was just building upon that education. And so I went and got my degree. And because this school is like the flex path route in which you can yeah. take, like they, they tell you how many courses you have to take within that term. That's and if true. you complete all of the courses within the term, then you're done. I left my job. I mm -hmm. I wrote papers literally all day. And so <laughs> I was able to do that, but it was a sacrifice, right? Yeah. But it was, it's absolutely possible. It's absolutely possible. It's absolutely so tell possible. them to do, do your research, guys. Um, I went to Capella University. Um, Western Governors is another university that off offers this option. Mm -hmm. And there's so many more. So do your research, look into the accreditations, make sure that they are um, approved and all of those things uh, to teach the, the courses. And, mm -hmm. and it may be an option for you. It's not for everyone, though. It's yeah. not an option for yeah. everyone. But not everyone can make does. that kind of sacrifice. And not everyone is willing to make that kind of sacrifice. Exactly. That's what it is. You have to be willing and you have to be able to make the sacrifice. But thank God I had my husband who was working full time mm -hmm. so that I could leave to focus entirely on this. And then once I was done, I'm done. Like I, I don't plan to pursue nurse practitioner or doctorate or anything else. I'm completely done. So, yeah, yeah. I think that is worth it. It's worth looking into. I mean, of course, it can't hurt. Of course. <laughs> of course. Why not? Why not? Of course it is. Mm -hmm. it, it, my 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 grandmother always used to say, "What man has done, man may do." So mm. if you have done it, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Worship, thank you so 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 much. This has been great talking okay. to you again. Thank you, you too. So much. Always, always. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks right. for having me. <laughs> my absolute pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs>